I've got a um, I've got a subject that all right, Fab may make you a little uncomfortable. Me? Yeah. Does it involve statute of limitations? <laughs> no, it it involves cheese. Ugh. <laughs> Just make me uncomfortable. Well, maybe my stomach. Go ahead. Well, it turns out according to science, and we all know that if science says it, we have to absolutely, absolutely. believe it. It turns out that cheese is not bad for you. Several recent major studies have found that cheese has gotten an unfair reputation in the past, and they say, quote, there's no evidence that it leads specifically to weight gain, heart disease, or diabetes, and it might even be good for you. Okay, so wait a minute. What country is famous for cheese? Uh, that would be Italy. No. Close by. France isn't famous for cheese. They don't. Yeah, the, the French don't eat cheese yeah, all the, the time. Fr- the French and the because yeah. I was going to do like a, a French like au contraire, mon frère. No, it is bad for you. Just taste it. <laughs> it's spoiled. Okay, it's I'm, rotten. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> so when you said what country is famous? Well, Italy for cheese, is pretty pretty. The famous reason for. why I didn't answer, answer immediately is because I was thinking Wisconsin. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a country. <laughs> it's not a country. <laughs> it's not a country. It's a state. Wisconsin's not because because I've, I've been to Wisconsin a few times, and, and the it's whole famous. thing is famous for cheese. Yeah. And so, it's when you ask me, so it's like think of a country quick. You don't say Wisconsin. Whatever you do, don't say Wisconsin. Whatever you do, don't say Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Well, the studies say that that the problem with with okay, it's what people eat with cheese. That can be the issue, like refined grains or potatoes or processed meats, and well, cheese and crackers is a thing. Yes, it is. It's I mean, a it's a wonderful a thing. thing. Uh, how about uh, potatoes au gratin? Yes, and uh, that's and a thing. And how about a grilled cheese sandwich? Spaghetti, pizza. Well, spaghetti because oh. you put you put Parmesan cheese all See, over spaghetti. It's Parma- pasta. I don't put Parmesan. Everybody cheese. else does. I know. I don't. And I kind of don't consider that that dry dry stuff cheese Ugh. that's just like extra salt but anyway uh they said that that this is what they say according to wired that there's no evidence that cheese is linked to cardiovascular disease and in some studies it is even a little bit associated with lower risk so there you go remember they used to tell us butter was bad for us and then they found out that margarine was worse than butter so then they went back to butter being better for you than margarine Unless, of course, they're telling you to eat plant-based, and then we're back to margarine. It's just a lot more expensive. <laughs> you have to go to the special store for that. <laughs> Beheading the canola seeds. All right, so it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it is cheese day. Is this cheese day? No, just a cheese story. It is not. But when I saw this, it was like, "Ooh, that's cheesy. That's right up your alley." Awesome. <laughs> this part of the show brought to you by Velveeta. That's terrific. It's eight thirteen. No, it's not. That's <laughs> melted tires dyed with orange crayons, right? The Big Morning Show with Fast and Renee. The Only on Louisiana's greatest hits, Big One Hundred Two Point One.